previously on Big Brother. Keisha vowed to target those responsible for Stephen's eviction. I am going to turn this house upside down. And she set her sights on Angie. I want to put Angie up. She is a big threat to us. At the nomination ceremony, one nominee was expected. I have nominated you, Angie. And the other was a surprise. And you, Jesse. While Keisha assured Jesse he was not the target. I don't think you have anything to worry about, though, Jesse, because they all are going to go with whatever I say. Jerry let his dislike for Memphis be known. He's a, a womanizer, really. At the veto competition, Keisha kept all the power in her hands. Congratulations, Thank Keisha. You. Thank you. Jesse tried over and over again to convince Keisha to use the veto. I feel sick. I'm losing weight as we speak. I've lost six pounds in two days. I'm up because of you. And he urged her to put Libra on the block. You can still get Libra out the door. That's still an option. But Keisha refused to break her word. I'm just wanting everybody to know where I stand. I gave my word, and I'm not going to put her up. When a banner plane flew overhead. A banner, no way. It is a banner. A what? Memphis, Michelle, Jesse, and Angie came up with a plan. Oh, I don't know what it said. Something about Libra. <gasps> it says Libra's a liar, love Steven. And things got heated when Memphis called Jerry out. You call me a womanizer? You want to see me get real? I'll get really real. I don't think so. At the veto meeting, Keisha kept her word to Libra. I choose not to use the power of veto on either one of you. Who will be evicted from the Big Brother house? Angie or Jesse? And who will become the next head of household? Find out tonight, live on Big Brother 10. And welcome to Big Brother 10. It's day 24 inside the Big Brother house, and the game has become personal. Keisha, the Hooters waitress from Burbank, California, and current HOH, dished out a helping of revenge when she targeted those whom she held responsible for Stephen's eviction. Now, Angie, the recent divorcee from Orlando, Florida, and Jesse, the professional bodybuilder from Rudd, Iowa, find themselves on the chopping block. Tonight, one of them is going home. Who will it be? We'll find out shortly. But first, can Angie turn the tide in her favor? Sometimes even the simplest conversation can spark a firestorm. I choose not to use the power of veto on either one of you. It was hard enough to put two people up and I don't think I could put a third person up at this time. This veto meeting is adjourned. Me and Jesse are definitely in alliance, but when you are on the block with somebody, it's every man for himself, and I'm gonna do everything I possibly can to stay in the house. Didn't even break a sweat. No sweat. <laughs> and Keisha has told me that I'm safe. I know the way everybody's supposed to vote, so I can pretty much do whatever I want. I told Jesse that he had nothing to worry about, that he was safe. I'm very confident that the house is going to follow my plan. I just feel bad because you're with somebody for 19 days. It's 24 hours a day. People become your family and your friends, whether you like it or not. You know, I just wish it was just so different. And I just wish I wasn't put in this position. I know. <laughs> because I know. you're two of the people in this house that I even give a crap about. Give me a hug. Michelle, this is what I want to tell you, this whole thing. If the, if, it, honestly, if the house is going to vote for Jesse to stay in the house, 
Don't even worry about voting for but me. It's, I don't care about the rest of the house. I know I that. I care less about them. It really means, oh God. <laughs> it just really sucks because, I mean, it's not like I'm put up on the block, but out of everybody in this house, you know, you two are the closest people to me. My two favorite people in the house are up, so. It's like I have to vote for one of them to leave, you know? It just sucks. Where did we go wrong? What do you mean? We didn't win HOH, that's where we went wrong. And we didn't power veto. Yeah, and Jerry. They admitted to calling me a womanizer straight to my face. But what I'm saying you, you is were I- You disrespectful to me the other night when you were- It doesn't matter, you call me a womanizer, dude. Well, that's it... what you are. Excuse me? Do you really want to say that to my face? Are, are you just... out of your mind, old man? Yeah. Are you out of your mind? Yeah. Jerry, he knows that I want him out of this house. What a fool. What the hell is the matter with these people? It's a burn, Marie. <laughs> oh as soon as this week is done, whoever wins head of household, do you realize that the only people that it's going to work on for you, like sucking up to and stuff, are the people that may not be in power next week? Well, that's with everybody. No, I mean, I'm just being honest with you. The power situation will change every week, and so will the people. My question to you then turns into, are you going to go along with what the house says? I think there's bigger fish to fry in the house. I, I'm not disagreeing with any of that. But no matter what comes out of this week, none of it is my choice. Do you, you always have a choice. Mm. The numbers have the choice. Yeah. I'm not the one, again, I say it to you, I'm not the one to put anybody on the block. This is true. But this last week, I felt that Memphis and Jesse and everybody, you guys got cocky about how you were still controlling everything in this house. You're talking about Memphis, Jesse, and Michelle? Big are time. you Are you kidding me? No. If you really think it was just Jesse, Michelle, and Memphis that were doing that this week, last week? No, I don't. All right. Just as long as you understand that. I have nothing against you, sweetheart. We'll, we'll work it out. I think Jerry was telling Angie, like, look, you know, it's not over, don't give up. The fact of the matter is, they're gonna try to go behind their word and actually vote Jesse out. This is just taking a toll on me, because, like, I seriously know I'm gonna go out the door. I'm telling you right now, they, they, they're not gonna vote you out. You want them in? Yeah, you can let Memphis. You can come in. No, I just uh, overheard Jerry tell Angie, you're not out of this game. Really? Just so you know. Huh. I told you I didn't feel safe. I could hear him talking, but I think you guys were arguing or something. I go, Jerry, I just want to ask you something. I go, why is it that last week you were all about getting Libra out and this week you're basically kissing their ass? What did he say? He was like, well, I gotta, gotta go where the power's at. I heard him say, like, um, don't worry about it, don't give up, you're still safe in this game or something like that. I don't know, he's like, yeah, last week Michelle and Memphis and Jesse, you know, thought that they ran the house. He said my name too? Yeah, what? I go. Kicking up a little dust here and there doesn't hurt at all. It's gonna take some attention off of me. Where's Jerry? Hello. Hi. Actually glad that you're up here. I was just in Angie's grasp. Wait, listen, what he said to Angie, he said to Angie that you, me, and him, us three, thought we were running the house last week, walking around here like we running. And uh, I'm going, I have to calm down because I'm going to flip the You need out to go out there right now. You need I'm to telling go you right now, now. flip Michelle, out and be like, oh, let's calm, listen to me, I'm gonna do physical harm. So I need to calm down for one minute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna calm, I need to calm down for a minute. You told her not to worry that she's still in this game? Did not. 
You didn't tell her that? Hell no, I didn't do that. Somebody just came up here and told me that. <laughs> They're like, yeah, Jerry's down there in Angie's ear. It's already starting. I mean, They're playing the game. Big time. You talking about me? Whatever. Anything you think I said, I said. I just heard it from sitting down. I said, the power around here changes every week. And you're going to go with what the power is? No, I'm not. Next week, I, I'm Memphis or Jesse or y'all make it. I won't go anywhere near you because I figure you're going to put me up. You think okay, I'm going to so kiss your ass? Well, that's... You're gonna, me, I'm going to kiss your ass? You, that's what you... You're trying to cause trouble now. How am I causing you're trouble? You're, 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 just you're, you're the one. Now. You're the yeah. one talking junk about yeah. me. I'm glad. All right? I'm glad and you got called out. I'm glad. You got called out. No, you do. You need you're to You're the one telling me that they're the ones talking junk. You were talking about me to Angie. Tell me you weren't. I it said all. it all. I was a pro. I said it everything, and I'll tell you right to your face what I said to anybody. You're not worthy of my comments. Because you're just... hollering at me. You're coming jumping on me with your friends. I was, far up, your, I was coming far up your, down my down. ass. Don't you want to hold for it? Come on, let's all get it on. Yeah. You are such a fool. You don't whisper very quietly. I can hear you talking about me. I mean, you can act cool, calm, and collected all you want. Everybody knows, like, you're trying to play everything. And you obviously just said, whoever has HOH, I'm going to start kissing their tail. I didn't say that. That's what you just said, and everybody heard if it. If you get it, I wouldn't kiss your ass. Good, because and you know where you'd be. Well, you know, you know where, where you'll be. be, too, if I get it. Coming up, America's Player is back. You voted to give one house guest the chance to do your bidding for one week in exchange for $20,000. Who did you choose, and did they accept your offer? Plus, will Angie or Jesse be the next house guest sent packing? Stay with us. <laughs> Welcome back to Big Brother 10. All he has to do is lay low and keep quiet. But will Jesse's ego be the straw that breaks the bodybuilder's back? One thing's for sure, the house is about to be shaken up. Well, who else would they put up on that, on that group? They would put up definitely Jerry, and Jerry would be gone. Yeah. yeah, they would. They put up Jerry or Dan. Do you feel that? <gasps> Earthquake. What do I do? What do I do? Go in the, in the middle. Go in the middle. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's so scary. I was like, did you feel that? Damn, the ground's moving. Right. Okay, I've never been through an earthquake before in my entire that? life. This is my first one. All right, you guys come outside. Get outside. It's an earthquake. Just come outside. Get outside. Oh my God, the ground's moving. Yeah, That's like the so whole wall. I've never been in an earthquake in my entire I've life. I've never been in an earthquake either. I'm from Rhode Island. We experience hurricanes and blizzards. I've never experienced an earthquake before. It was really scary. Bathroom, all of a sudden, sure. everything just shook, scary. and we're standing in the bathroom like going, that was a weird oh my God. Does that mean you there's like going to be tremors and stuff after? Oh, There'll be an aftershock big. for sure. Up to like 45 minutes, you can get them. I'm just like mm. shaking. Right in that corner, they pushed this whole house, man, and it hit hard right at my what? corner. They pushed well, it. I was laying. Earthquake. They? It's the an earthquake. earthquake. It's an earthquake. Was it? Ground shake, too. Yeah, I mean, the whole ground was moving. Yeah, it was so everything, weird. You could hear the poles of everything, and that, that was shaking. I thought everything somebody was. ran into the house with something. <laughs> the I was just like, Jerry, dude, it was an earthquake, man, you know? Oh, man, I thought a truck ran into the building, and they moved the whole building. Uh, you know, it's Jerry. He's an idiot. Jesse's out there. Bye bye. When I saw Libra's beady little eyes, I felt obligated to give her pretty much an antagonistic wave. Go bye bye. Bye, you're going home. I know your little plan. If I stay in this game, I'm gonna be the one that's taking you down. I was just looking to see who was out in the window. He goes, 
Come on, you're one. Bye-bye. No, he, he just said that to you? No, he did not. Yes, he did. Just now? Yeah. Uh -huh. <gasps> Dude, that's all out war. Libra's sitting there staring at me, and I just, I go, she goes, I go, you're going bye-bye. Did you really say to her, you're going bye-bye? Yeah, she you see didn't see Yeah, she was staring right at me. I'm like, bye-bye. <laughs> Bye bye. I'm trying to do the intimidation thing. Libra thinks she's so sneaky in the house. She is the most deviant person in here. I'm not gonna kiss her tail. I could care less what she thinks. It doesn't work to me. That's the only thing you can do is whisper bye bye to me through a window. He can't come in here and say it. Yeah. He can't. You know what I mean? He would never say that to me. But someone needs to remind him he's not safe yet. No, no, no. Or you just let him walk out with his bed. That's even better. You know. Bye. His arrogance coupled with the way he talks to people. I have never met somebody like that yeah. who was so disrespectful. He's done. He's going down. You know? Father time. He just called me Father Time. He called you what? Father Time. He uh, was saying stuff to her last night, too. He goes, you, bye-bye. I just don't. He, he needs to get out of here. <laughs> but why would you? I have no idea what he's thinking, because he's not. Because you don't understand how close I am to switching it up and being like, bye. I definitely have gotten um, agreements from everyone that they would vote the way that I wanted them to vote. So, Jesse's not safe. He needs to know that he's not safe. I mean, he just buries himself. But what it is, is he thinks we're scared of him. That's it, what it's it is. It's just uncalled for, you know, but he wants to keep it up. Well, uh, we thought he would be uh, a little nice. Appreciative. Right. <laughs> he thinks he's staying safe. Oh, he's a big, tough guy. What did Jesse say this morning? He walked past Jerry, called him Father Time, and then made a fart sound. So mature. Father Cap. Time? You know, old man. Yeah. Wow. And then every time Jerry walks past, he's like, Purr. I mean, it's just almost like high school. He assured that he's not going home this week, but he's comfortable. He's like, oh, I can do whatever I want now. Yes, it'd be so nice to send her home. Oh, my God. I'm telling so nice you. Because that would send everybody out there with messages. Season 10 ain't playing around. This is like the best opportunity. America's probably like, why are you getting things so yeah, stupid? Yeah, we're dumb. I think we're, we're the dumbest kid, I swear. I swear. You might be right on that one. They're like, you have the opportunity. He can't win POV. He's up on the block. That's what I'm thinking. Hey, if y'all want to do it, just get Keisha to wear it and tell her to get a thumbs up. The last time we did that, she listened. Tessie's snake. Oh, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I want Angie out. I'd like to see both of them. I wish there'd be a devil on me. I'm all right with it. I ain't gonna lie, I prefer Jesse because he put me under the bus and he directly attacked me. I told Jesse that he had nothing to worry about, that he was safe, but he's too arrogant. I don't really get what Jesse's doing because some of the house guests are definitely fed up with him. He does win challenges. If he gets it, he's gonna so pour me up. I think he will. It's been a tumultuous week inside the Big Brother house. Fights, an earthquake, and an airplane banner, which for the record, had nothing to do with Big Brother, in spite of what four house guests claimed. Let's go into the living room and talk with the house guests. Hello, house guests. Hi, Julie. Michelle, oh. let's start with you tonight. <laughs> yes, Julie, how can I help you? Well, you saw an airplane banner fly over the backyard. Tell me, what was the first thing that came to mind when you saw it? I said, ooh. <laughs> um, I was actually excited um, to see the banner. Um, there was a few of us that saw it, um, and then we immediately had to go inside. So um, I saw some things on it, and that's what it is. <laughs> Memphis. Yes. 
Julie. Nobody wants to be called a womanizer. <laughs> I understand that. But you went from zero to about 60 in two seconds flat on Jerry. What was that extreme reaction all about? Um, you know, I've dedicated kind of my life to treating women with a, a form of respect. And, you know, when somebody takes your character, especially on national TV, and, like, drops it down that low, you know, um, I kind of blew up. But, you know, it, it hurts. I would rather get punched in the face um, than actually somebody attack my character like that. Wow. Jerry, on the very first night, you toasted your fellow housemates and called them, quote, a great, great bunch of kids. <laughs> Arguments aside, do you still feel this way? Uh, I, Julie, do feel this way. I do want you to know that I have apologized to Memphis. It was uncalled for, and uh, I felt very bad about it, and it's over, and it was a sincere apology. Memphis, did you accept his apology? Was Julie, it? I did accept Jerry's apology. Um, I, it's easy for me to forgive people. It might be a little bit harder to forget it, though. Mm. And Jerry, how about with Michelle? Did you apologize to Michelle for having words with her? I don't recall my words with Michelle. What were they? Well, there was a bit of a screaming match, but we'll leave it at that. Oh, I wanted... those. Okay. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't regret those. I had to, four of them after me. It was like survival, you know? Got it. Let's turn to the birthday girl, Rennie. Happy birthday. Your question comes from one of our audience members. They want to know, what was the best thing about celebrating your birthday inside the house? Uh, the best thing about my birthday was actually being with all these uh, people that I've become friends with. For the first time in my life, I haven't celebrated with my family, but however, they made me feel so special. Really, they baked me a cake and everything. I'm sure that you'll see it. But anyway, it was really wonderful. That's nice to hear. Yes. Thank really. you, house guests. I'll be back to oversee the live vote and eviction in just a bit. Still ahead, which house guest did you vote to become America's player? And did they accept the challenge? Plus, who will be going home tonight? The live vote and eviction when we return. To Big Brother 10. Let's talk with Keisha, the current head of household, who is alone in the HOH bedroom. Hi, Keisha. Hi, Julie. Just a reminder, all your housemates are in the living room. They cannot hear you, so speak your mind. <laughs> <laughs> we know Jesse was responsible for putting Stephen up for eviction, but you also blame Angie for not sticking up for him. Now, in all fairness, you voted to evict Stephen as well. So why is Angie more to blame? Um, I think that I blame Angie more because she didn't stick up for Steven at all. Uh, she let me take the heat for everything whenever it came to Steven. She wouldn't even go anywhere near him. And then when everything was cooled down, she tried to be his best friend again. Mm. Now, despite pressure from the entire house to put Libra on the block this week, you kept your promise to her, you kept her out of danger. How long do you plan on keeping that promise with Libra? I plan on keeping my promise to Libra all the way to the end. You also seem to have formed a close bond with Rennie. Between Rennie and Libra, who are you more loyal to? I'm going to have to say that I'm probably more loyal to Rennie. I think that Rennie is definitely a true friend. Well, one of our audience members wants to know, before winning HOH, do you feel your fellow housemates underestimated you? I definitely feel that my housemates underestimated me. I think that I was seen as the ditzy blonde. And now what do they think? Now they know that, you know, they have to be a little more fearful. Thank you, Keisha. You're you can go downstairs to the living room and rejoin your housemates. Thank you. You're welcome. It is time to find out who will be the next house guest to walk out the front door. Will it be Angie, the recent divorcee from Orlando, Florida, or Jesse, the professional bodybuilder from Rudd, Iowa? Let's return to the living room and talk with the two nominees. Angie, Jesse, in just a few moments, your housemates will cast their votes to evict live. But before they do, you have one last chance to plead your case. And Angie, you're first. Well, 
It has certainly been an interesting three weeks for us. We've made some friends, we've made some enemies, but it all started out with 13 strangers walking into this house and basically trying to win half a million dollars. So you guys are probably sitting here right now pretty, pretty confident in your vote, who you're gonna be voting to evict, but I just wanna offer you one thing. Only one person in this room is gonna win $500,000. Not an alliance, not a majority of the house, one person. So you need to take a good hard look at the nominees up here right now, and you need to decide who's the biggest roadblock in your way to winning that money. If it's me, great, I'll walk out the door. But if it's not, I would definitely take that into some serious consideration before you walk in that room and cast your vote, because that's a mistake that you definitely don't want to regret. Thanks. Thanks, Angie. Jesse, your turn. Uh, I came into this house uh, with respect. Um, and I knew I was going to stand up for myself. Stood up for myself week one and proved it and got some power and did what uh, I th thought everybody was going to be happy with. Um, and then uh, things changed, obviously, week to week. And I'm, I stood up for myself again. I've stayed consistent. And if it's something that uh, it's going to get me through this nomination you know, ceremony and eviction, then so be it. But. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sit down when I feel like I was um, disrespected by anybody, and I would like to hope that nobody else would either. Thank you, Jesse. It is time for the live voting to begin. The two nominees are not allowed to vote. Keisha, as current head of household, you will only vote in the event of a tie. One at a time. The rest of you will enter the diary room and cast your vote. Memphis, you're first. Memphis is best friends with both nominees. Who will he choose to send home? Hello, Memphis. Hey, Julie. Please cast your vote to evict now. I vote to evict Angie. Thank you. Michelle has been torn apart because she has close ties with both nominees. Whose strings will she be willing to cut? Hello, Michelle. Hi, Julie. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Angie. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. Jerry has been a sympathetic ear to Angie and confrontational with Jesse. Will his vote reflect his feelings? Hello, Jerry. Hi, Julie. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Angie. Thank you, Jerry. It's no secret that Rennie would like to boot the bodybuilder. Will her vote reflect her feelings? Hello, Rennie. Hi, Julie. Please cast your vote to evict now. I vote to evict, unfortunately, Angie. Thank you, Rennie. Libra would love to kiss Jesse. Bye bye Will she make it known tonight? Hello, Libra. Hi, Julie. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Angie. Thank you. It's official with five votes to evict Angie. Angie will be the next person to leave the Big Brother house. Let's see how the remaining house guests vote. Hi, April. Hi, Julie. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Angie. Thank you. Thank you. Ollie is close with April. It would be a surprise if he voted differently. Hello, Ollie. Julie Mama, how you doing? Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Angie. Thank you, Ollie. Thank you. Dan has been laying low all week. How will he vote? Hello, Dan. Hey, like the hair tonight, Mrs. Chen. Oh, thank you. Just for the record, I am married, but Mrs. Chen is my mother. <laughs> But thank you for that. Thank you for the respect. Please cast your vote to evict. <laughs> I vote to evict Angie. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> With eight votes to evict Angie, Angie will be leaving the house tonight. We'll break the news to the house guests when we return.
Welcome back. Angie will be going home tonight. Let's give the news to the House guests. House guests, just a reminder, when I reveal the vote, the evicted House guests will have just a few moments to say goodbye, gather their belongings, and walk out the front door. By a vote of eight to zero, Jesse, you are safe. Angie, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Thanks. Bye, Benny. Angie, good try with that speech, I gotta, I gotta tell you. I know, I gave him my go. You did, you really did. Keisha said the reason she nominated you was because she partially blamed you for Stephen's eviction. Right. Do you buy that? Um, I actually think that there's probably some other underlying things, but... Like what? Um, I don't know whether or not... Um, gosh, sorry. You know, maybe it had to do with a lot of the comp competitiveness with the girls in the house and, you know... You know, we didn't really see you hanging with a lot of the girls. Michelle, yes, but you really kind of hung with the guys. Yeah. How come? Um, I mean, I guess it's just, I mean, it's kind of what I do outside in life. I don't, I didn't paint my <laughs> nails every, every day or, you know, I just enjoy the time outside. And most of the time I sat outside in case anybody noticed. So you came into this game saying you're not an emotional person. I know. I don't know why. What's happening? Exactly. You're crying now. You were crying in Keisha's HOH room. Was that strategy? Was that real? Um, I think a little bit had to do with strategy. A little bit had to do with, you know, trying to talk with her and try to make a connection with her. She seems to be more someone that, uh, you know, will react to emotion rather than rational thought. So how about we listen to the goodbye messages from I would love to. That's I'm looking right. forward to it. Okay, right here. <laughs> I was pushing 110% for you, and then initially I think that's the real truth uh, of why I'm sitting here with you. You have a rationalized mind, and <laughs> at least you're going to be able to communicate with people that aren't insane or <laughs> don't have a really poor judgment of rationale. Again, I can make more similes <laughs> and analogies if you want, but I think you understand <laughs> everything that I'm trying to portray right now. Angie, uh, I think you're a real neat young lady. I liked you from the moment I first met you when you came in the door, and you're, you're a cool cat. I uh, will miss you. If you're listening to this, uh, you know, you're obviously leaving the house. Um, it's been fun. You know, it's definitely been nice to have somebody here I can uh, talk to and make fun of people too. <laughs> I'm gonna get these people back for everything that they've done. You know, jealousy is very ugly, and that's why you are where you are. I'm gonna really miss you, and um, I can't wait to see you. Bye. On a lighter note, we noticed after Brian was evicted, you wore his knit cap oh, every God. day. Should we be reading something into this? Absolutely not. Me and Brian are very, very good friends. Um, I know that he has somebody that he is, you know, with, and oh, okay. you know, I do too. I think it got to the point when I found out that it really bugged everybody in the house that I wore it. 
that it kind of became something it's like, well, if it bothers them, then I'm going to wear it more. <laughs> Way it goes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, Julie. You're welcome. And I'm going to talk more with Angie tomorrow morning on The Early Show on CBS. And if you have a question for Angie, you can ask her live tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific on House Calls, the Big Brother talk show at CBS.com. Coming up, find out whom you chose to be America's player and if they accepted the challenge. Plus, the battle for Head of Household begins. Stay with us. That's right, Nancy. <laughs> Welcome back to Big Brother 10. America's player is back. You voted to give one house guest the chance to do your bidding in the Big Brother house for one week for $20,000. If this person accepts your offer, they will have to target the house guest you pick for eviction, accomplish a task in the house you choose, and vote the way you want. So who did you vote for and did they accept the challenge? Let's find out. Uh, open this. Dan, America wants to make you an offer. Big Brother fans want you to become America's player for one week. <laughs> By a nationwide vote, you receive more votes than any other house guest. Oh my god. If you accept the offer, America will pay you $20,000 to represent them for one week in the Big Brother game. From who to get nominated to who to get evicted and everything in between, America will be calling the shots. But you must keep it all secret or risk losing everything. Will you accept the challenge to become America's player, yes or no? This is uh, pretty cool. Uh, I'm very blown away, uh, very appreciative towards America. Um, on the pro side, okay, obviously there's the money. Uh, I'm a teacher, I don't need to really tell you guys how much money I make. And I can tell you that this money would make a huge difference in me. Um, one con to becoming America's player is I could jeopardize my entire chance of winning this thing. But if America wants Dan to be uh, America's player, who am I to deny America? You know, if, if that's what you guys want, I'm on board. I will be accepting the America's player offer. And thank you, America. Now that Dan is playing for you, America, how will he choose to perform in this HOH competition? Let's go to the backyard and find out. House guests, the power is up for grabs. Tonight's competition is called Living on the Edge. And the goal is simple. Be the last person standing on the building's ledge and you become the new head of household. Keisha, as outgoing HOH, you are not eligible to compete. Does everyone else understand these rules? Yes, yes Julie. Yeah, yeah. Good, because the competition begins now. Yes. Word. Yes. Go all the way over. Nice. <laughs> oh, keep it coming. Word. What's going on, guys? Hey. You guys hang out on building ledges much? You all felt the earthquake the other day, house guests? Yeah. <laughs> well, you should know when there are earthquakes, there are always aftershocks. I'll be back to check on all of you in just a bit. <laughs> Peace out, JC. Peace out. There are more surprises for the house guests just ahead. <laughs> Welcome back. Who will become the new head of household and who will they nominate for eviction? 
Find out Sunday at 8, 7 central. Then Tuesday at 9, 8 central, will the power of veto save one of the nominees? I'll be back next Thursday night at 8 for the next live eviction. And don't forget, all week you'll be telling Dan what to do as America's player. To continue to follow the live head of household competition, log on to CBS.com and subscribe to the live 24-hour internet feed. You can also get an uncensored look at Life in the House on Big Brother After Dark, airing live each night from midnight to 3 a.m. on Showtime 2. Let's check back with the house guests and see how they're holding up. House guests, how's everyone doing so far? Hey, Julie. Yeah, we're, we're, we're You're hanging, all hanging in there. We're doing. You want to call it that? I pay yeah. sawdust. Well, it sure looks like a beautiful night out there in the backyard. Oh, yeah. There even seems to be a nice breeze. Hang in there, house guests. It's going to be a bumpy night. Good night, everyone. Jesse. <laughs> Keisha got a little sign in your hand. <laughs> <laughs>